Hey everyone, it's Colin back again to be helpful with internet things and today we're going to dive into how you can add conditional logic to Google Forms. Now if you're even yet to understand what I just said, conditional logic basically means that if you have a respondent to your form who answers like this, they get shown this question. But if they answer like that, they get shown a different question. It's a really useful tool to get better, more detailed responses from your forms. Let's dive into how you can do it to your Google Form. Okay, so this is a basic Google Form. I'm presuming everybody watching this has one loaded up and is simply looking for how to add the conditional logic. This is a quiz for people interested in the merch for my Gallic Metalcore band, which is a real thing. So. What I'm going to do is click on the question where I want the conditional logic to come in. You'll see this one here, which is what would be your preferred shade of t-shirt. Because, of course, we're a metal band, I want people to pick the dark stuff, the black and the greys, the purples. So if I click on this, you'll now see in the bottom right, there's three little dots. I'm going to click on this and go to, go to section based on answer, which is a long way of saying conditional logic. Click on that. And here we can have some drop down menus. So if a respondent clicks on light, so yellow, pink, whites, or blues, I'm going to send them to submit form because if they want that color of merch, I'm not really interested in, in their opinions for the purposes of my band. However, if they click dark, so they want some merch that's black or gray or purple, then I'm going to send them to section two, which is other merchandise, which is a section I've prepared below which is what else would interest you, hoodies, baseball caps, joggies, or shorts. So this is conditional logic. If they answer this, they go to the end. If they answer that, they get another question. So that's all there is to it. I've now set that up, but let's check it works. So I'm going to go up to the I at the top, and let's pretend that I'm Dave, and I am a 2XL, and I'm going to go for dark. Let's just see if this works first of all. Click next. Well, hey, now we have our conditional logic. It's taken me to this question. What else would interest you? All of the above, says Dave. But let's go back and check that if I do it the other way, it's going to take us to the end. So Dave, who is now an extra small, and he wants a light t-shirt because he's a happy kind of guy. He's optimistic. And now if I click next, submit form. We have successfully put conditional logic into Google Forms. With all that being said, if you've been trying to use conditional logic on Google Forms, you may have come to the conclusion that it's just not quite the right tool for the job. If that's the case, let me introduce you to something better, Growform. Growform was designed to help get you more leads from the same traffic and has powerful conditional logic that lets you show and hide single questions or entire steps. You can even send users to different thank you pages based on their answers, which is great for recommending different products. The conditional logic in Growform is simple to understand, but powerful too, with simple and or statements letting you cover pretty much every eventuality. It's really Really worth trying out if you're attempting to create professional forms and it's got a free 14-day trial which I've linked to in the description no credit card required all right that is it I am done psych and subscribe you know the deal and I'll see you again for your next YouTube search query ciao for now